No, this isn't the exact same video that you saw earlier today. This is a game called Race. And yes, that's different than Raceland, which I, again, covered earlier today. And I made a video about it, teared it apart, and while I was editing my Steam review for it, because I do normally review most of the games that I cover on Steam as well, I was contacted by one Alex Santa Maria of Tech Raptor. He's a great writer over there, and someone who I talk with quite a bit about stupidity on Steam and such, and other stupid things. He told me that there's another game called Race that came out that's using the exact same Unity asset racing template as Raceland is. And it came out a day after Raceland. So I bought it, and I figured it would be a really neat little study to see two asset flips of the same thing coming out within a 24 hour window of each other to see exactly how lazy people can get and to show people that even if you change like a couple little things in these full game asset templates, you're still pretty much making the exact same thing as everyone else. So let's go ahead and take a look at race. So. We have a slightly different main menu, that's a good start I guess. There's multiplayer in this game apparently, there isn't as far as I know in Raceland. And hopefully in this game there's more than one working track, because we know that wasn't a thing in Raceland either, so... We're gonna find out. Alright, so we're in the garage right now. I don't know what that does. It doesn't seem to do anything. I'm simply looking at my car. So we're gonna go to... The shop over here, to change our paint job and stuff, and look at this! This is the exact same menu as in Raceland. Like, to a T. There might be, like, slight UI differences, but this part, this, like, rectangle right here, looks identical. That's kind of insanely stupid. Okay, let's make our car pink, or whatever that awful highlighter color is. We're gonna do that, then we're gonna spend 30 grand! Oh wait, I've got way less money than I did in the last one. No, we're not going to do that. We're actually going to keep our car as the regular color. Because if it's anything like the last game, if I don't upgrade my car all the way from the start, it's going to be next to impossible to do anything. Okay, so here is our upgrade system. It's the exact same one as we saw in the last game. At least in this one, they don't give you infinite money. So I guess playing this game has a point to it, because you can't upgrade your car all the way to the top from the very start. Okay, I think I've used up all my, all my money, so... This might be a slightly different experience, but it seems to be more like the template experience on the Unity Store than the last game. Which I honestly can't really believe. Okay, so... That's our graphics options. Wonderful. Let's go all the way back and then hit play. Oh, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. Single player. And then we have races and free roam. Again, these were available in Raceland as well. I'm assuming free roam is like driving around on the track, like with nothing else to do. That was in Raceland. I just, I didn't talk about it in the video. Let's go to races. And now we have Circuit Hills. That looks like the exact same track as I played earlier. This is going to be fun. All right. Yep, this is the same thing. We're just starting in a slightly different spot. All right, here we go. So far, this is the exact same experience. Although I... Wait, hold on. I can't tell if the handling is better or worse than this. It might be worse. It's probably worse. All right, here we go. Well, at least in this one... The cars didn't get stuck on the first corner, but they might get stuck anyways. Oh my god. Yeah, so the handling in this game is terrible, by the way. Like, it's honestly ungodly awful. And like I said in my review, when you turn in this game, you can't let go of the accelerator because it'll make you turn even worse. See, like, I wasn't holding the accelerator there, and I wasn't turning at all. I'll try it again. See, you barely turn. But if you hold the accelerator while you turn, it's a lot sharper and a lot easier. And that's like, that goes against every racing game I've ever played, ever. Oh god. And those tire tracks were in the air. That's good to see. Alright, let's keep going. 
This is the exact same track that I played earlier, by the way. There is zero difference to it, as far as I can tell. Oh god. Sorry, the handling is honestly the worst thing I've ever experienced in my life. And I've played it twice today. I paid for this game twice today. I might just return these on Steam, because I don't want to be buying the exact same game twice. I think that's probably a pretty good reason to return stuff. I don't normally do that, but it's like, you know, when I already own a game, <laughs> I don't think I need it again. Unless it's Space Rangers 2. I've bought that game like eight times, because it's the best. Oh, I finished the race, apparently. Well, finished it by going backwards. There's still tire tracks that are also moving, which is kind of odd in the background there. That's weird. Oh my god, my character is flying out of the top. What was that? There's no sunroof on this car. What are you doing, bud? Interesting. I'm also not driving right now. It's doing that on its own. Look at that. Look at that AI go. That's wonderful. What? Why? My character just flew out of his car and went back to his home planet. What the hell is go- This is amazing. All the- My driver is flying across the, the screen. He's become Superman. I am fascinated by the physics of this right now. He also doesn't have any legs, so that's... that's interesting. Okay. Oh, nope, he's still flying around there. Alright, we're gonna go to the next race. Are we in a different map this time at least? That'd be nice. Let's go. Vroom vroom, mofo. Alright, so we can also go into first person, which I neglected to mention in the review for Racelands, but that is a thing as well. So we're gonna try this out. Oh god! See, I was trying to turn right there and I couldn't. Like, it was honestly impossible. Are there even any other cars here with me? It says they're supposed to be in the top corner, but I don't see any. Hold on. Hold the phone. Um... Are there any... Oh, there they are. Never mind. Alright, well, I guess I'm not in first place anymore. Oh, thank you for turning me around, other car. I appreciate that. Here we go now. We got this. Now that I'm in first person, I feel like I'm really driving. I mean, I still feel like I'm driving a stick of butter, but, you know, could be worse. Other cars. This isn't bumper cars. Now, at least in this one, there's different tracks, I guess. I think this is a different track. It might not be. I might just be going backwards in it now, like they reversed it for the next race. I don't know, I couldn't really tell you. Alright, but we're gonna try to go do a full lap. It seems easier to drive in first person, oddly enough. I'm not sure if it really is or if I just finally got used to the controls. Or maybe this track is just way better. Like there's less extremely sharp corners in it. That's also a very distinct possibility. I'm gonna keep going here. Alright, so we won some money. That's good. Oh my god, my character is flying out of the car again. What is going on? He just, he decides to leave his car for a little bit every now and then. Sorry, I, I like sitting here and seeing this happen. Because it's baffling. Like, extremely baffling. Is he gonna do it again? Oh, he almost did it. There he goes! Alright, cool. He's just macking on the pavement right now, doing some twirls. He's got some barrel rolls going. Ah, oh, there he goes again! Look at that. That's like some pro skater tricks right there. That's insane. Aw, oh, yo. He's a ghost. Okay. Let's go to the next race, then. So we're only racing against four people this time. At least there's more than one race in this one, so it's already better than Raceland. It's unfortunate that it is an asset flip. Like, if someone had made this game absolutely from scratch and it was this bad, I'd be able to say at least they made something themselves. But this is literally just taken from another website. That's not cool. Ain't really all that great in my book. Is it, This is the same track, isn't it? Oh my god. Can we not, please? These might be different tracks. I can't tell. Everything looks exactly the freaking same. 
At least we got some really relaxing music going on in the background, though. I should probably Shazam this after the fact and see if it's copyrighted or not. Shazam is like my favorite app in the world because I can find all this stupid stuff that these wannabe developers use. Alright. We're gonna finish off this race, I think, and then go back to the menu and see if we can customize some stuff. I feel like I don't even need to upgrade my car anymore if I can already win races like this. Oh, oh, oh god, spun out. Oh, hold on. Everyone calm down. We're okay. We goody. This is some exciting racing action right here. It's pretty great, if I do say so myself. There we go. Alright, oh, we're flying out again. Should have expected that. Let's go back to the garage and go to play. Single player. Uh, races. Oh, it's, it's all... Oh, there's a mountain lake. So I guess that was different. So we did two different tracks for sure. And then we can unlock these other things, I guess. But they're all the same. It just, it changes how many laps and how many racers there are. It's almost like this template wasn't meant to be a full game. And they just put some tracks and some game modes in it. So that people who buy it can test out different modes and see what it's like. And they didn't want it to be a full released game. So I went to free roam. And I didn't even get to choose between the one of two maps. So that's fun. And we're back in third person. Which is much more ugh, difficult to use. Oh god, we're okay. We're goody. Oh, look at that popping on that grass. That looks wonderful. Here we go. So, yeah, this is the exact same game. I will say it's better than Raceland, but that's because this seems to be literally the stolen assets. I also forgot to mention that I found some very questionable reviews on this game, by which I mean they all say the exact same thing. <laughs> so I wonder if those are real. They must be, right? Everyone loves this game so much, and it's perfect in every way. But I mean, the price is a bit steep, right? That's, um, it's definitely the only criticism everyone has in the exact same way, word for word, totally. I hope this has been educational, as in, like, this is the, the type of stuff that we deal with every day. And people often tell me that, like, who cares? We don't see this stuff on the Steam store all that often. But then there's days like this where you get two of the exact same game releasing from two completely different developers. And that's taken up spots on the store that other people could be getting that made a real game. Like, there's two of this game on the new releases list right now. And two other people's games who made a real video game put in time and effort are now getting bumped further th further down that list, or even like fully off it. Because these guys are idiots. And I think that's stupid. I think that sucks. I don't think that's the right thing to do. And I really feel like, without people like me, it would just be even worse than it is. And I feel like Valve should probably do something. But you know, is that ever gonna happen? The answer is no. So I'm gonna keep steam cleaning this entire storefront this year and I'm gonna try to hopefully make it a little bit better if I can make the steam storefront a little bit better throughout 2018 I think I'm gonna consider it a job well done I'm